All right, drilling tips 101. When you're drilling for the stubby, you have the curved section here, and then you have to decide that's going to slide in the tube. Then you have to decide whether you want the bolt parallel with your arc or 90 degrees. This is a cross tube for the main section of the frame. We want we want to put our bolt 90 degrees to to the Up. vertical tube here. So we're going to put our stubby, is what we're calling these, we're going to put that in here. We're going to slide that in the drill guide. And we're going to see how it, we're going to make, just to make sure we got it close, we're going to drop a tube in to hold it. And we're going to push it tight. And we're going to hold it in there tight. And we're going to lock that tube into place. And we want this will be our, a parallel hole and this will be a 90 degree hole. We want to do the 90 degree hole. So we're going to turn it 90 degrees. We got it locked in and we're going to drill our hole. Time for a battery in the drill. I see, Jeff, that you're using this one on the other side to keep it square. That's correct. We're just holding our height. It, it makes things easier. That other drill guy is going to come into play. Real important when you do the other end of this tube because we want another one, another stubby in the other end, and we want it parallel with this hole. I'm going to clean this hole out. So I imagine that keeping your workbench clean and without any chips or anything is going to assure that that forms a straight hole. Right. You don't want them tipped a little bit or anything. You want to keep your holes parallel. To do this one, I don't have a pinning guide, so we're going to use one of these locking bolts to, to hold our parallel here. And line up that hole we just drilled in there, and then we're gonna and that keeps it from turning in the guide. Right, that'll keep give us a parallel hole. Put that all the way down, sink it all the way down to the bottom. So now we're gonna just do the same thing. We're going to put our, our stubby in the end of the tube. We're going to slide it in the drill guide. Okay, we have our other end pinned in the other drill guide. So what we want to do is, is bring this in. Just check that it's all kind of lined up. Bring it back out just slightly. Put our tube in there. Now, you can hold it in tight and lock it down with the locking screw. And this is parallel with the other hole we drilled. That's what we want. Our other tube is going to be 90 degrees. Our bolt is going to be 90 degrees to our tube. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to drill it. Pin that in. Now we have our part with our two stubbies. Our two holes are in the same direction and it's going to fit on the cross too, like so. And that's a com We have to drill two more holes in here at the three inch marks. And uh, these go three inches from each end of the tube, not the stubby. You should take a file, knock the burrs down, so they slide in your drill guide nice. We're going to do, we're just going to pin it in this guide. You 
keeping off our work area. And then we can just slide this one on until we get our hole centered in our in our drill guide. Lock it down, make sure it's parallel. You want to double check on your plans that you want these holes parallel with this one, which is exactly what we want. If we wanted it 90 degrees, we would take and we take these out and flip it like so. But both of them? No, just one because you want the whole 90 degrees. I see. Okay. So we can take these all the way out. And on these guides, this height. Or this distance between the guide and the tube and this distance over here are the same. So if we wanted this hole at 90 degrees, we would simply turn that. Then these holes would be this way and this hole would be 90 degrees to it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pin, we're going to move it over to this hole, Clean off our work surface. Line that up. We gotta get a locking bolt in here. Line that up. Lock it in. Make sure everything's flat. Drill a hole. And here we have a complete center section horizontal tube.